Hey everyone, what is going on? And welcome back to another Shellcast. Now I know I don't do Shellcast too often. I just have other things I have to focus on and this is not my full-time job. Even though I wish it was, I'm not going to lie. But it's not my full-time job, so there's other things I do focus on. Uh, like my health and, and everything like that. Like exercise and things like that. So I don't do this too often. Um, but yeah, if you want to see more of it, continue to let me know in the comments down below. Uh, and I do appreciate everyone who submits in the content, even if I can't get to it. But we are taking a look at the Ultra League today. All three leagues still going on. And it's going to be a triple shadow team. So, before we begin, this trainer does have a YouTube channel. So the link will be in the description down below. Uh, and I'm going to go ahead and, yeah, start up the battles right now. See what we got going on for us. Let's go. Shadow Dragonite, Shadow Alolan, Sand Slash, Shadow for Alligator in the Ultra League. Picking up. I mean, I mean, you have to watch out. Obviously, you have to respect the Ice Beam here, right? Um... But trying to make an attempt to catch, not able to do it. Out comes the Victra Bell. We're in the Ultra League. We are in the Ultra League. Now, this is actually Magical Leaf. This is Magical Leaf. So, very cool. I wonder if Victra Bell has some good play in the Ultra League with Magical Leaf. Nonetheless, very cool. Can't get to the other one, unfortunately. It would have been nice to get there. Now, as a Sand Slash, you do wall the energy. You know, before Victor Bell got the Community Day, or Bell Sprout, that is, I was like, well, if they give it Weather Ball, it's going to be giving it some play against Steel types, against Ice types, whereas normally it, it would do really poorly against. Uh, but it didn't get the Fire of Weather Ball, <laughs> which I guess is a good thing, right? You would, you don't want it to get, you want Skarmory to wall the Victor Bell in the Great League for the most part, right? You don't want to give it coverage against Steel types. So I'm glad it got Magical Leaf. It's not too overpowered, but it is pretty good. And we do see it from the opponent as well. So Dragonite's coming in, going for the the uh, attack. Unfortunately, the Feraligator probably going to Hydro Cannon here, but let's find out. They do Hydro Cannon, so that was a good bait by the opponent, but I would say it's worth the shield uh, because at the end of the day, that still would have gotten the Shadow Dragonite low, right? So it's still worth the shield for sure. Dragon Clay is going to pick up the knockout, very nice indeed. Uh, and now out comes Giratina, able to make it to the Dragon Claw, but it's not going to be enough to KO. And uh, like the thing is, you do have one shield. So you are going to be able to shield an attack from the Giratina. You have to. You have no choice. Uh, so Dragonite is going to go ahead and protect itself. But get, can Giratina make it to another one? I think so. No, they try to catch. Because of that, the Dragonite can fawn down and go for the Dragon Claw. Claw. Did the Giratina get to the move? And could they have thrown it? I'm not sure if they were at the move. But nonetheless, that attempted catch was a good attempt. They weren't able to get it. But it is going to ultimately end up costing the opponent good game. Moving on to a terrible lead. you got to pivot out into the Shadow for Alligator ASAP. And that's exactly what we see right now. Um, so in this scenario, obviously, you know, the Wiggly Tough would be worse. Let's say this is a great league and you go into for Alligator. That's really bad, right? Because the Shadow Claw is double resisted. But at least for Alligator has play. Of course, it's not too bad against the Clefable. It's actually pretty good. Like, it's, it's fine. Uh, we do see, well, not really a bait. You don't have crunch, so it's not a bait. You just go for the hydro cannons. Gonna go ahead and go for another hydro cannon. Um, you fight for switch here. Obviously, it would be really nice to have the sand slash on that uh, clefable. You can, yeah. I mean, you have to fight for switch. You have no choice. Uh, yeah, you have to double shield. And can you get the farm down? I'm not sure um, how much energy. I feel like that for alligators energy dry. Yeah, it looks like they were probably energy dry at that point, so able to farm down. You had to go down the two shields. It was totally worth it because Dragonite cannot see any part of the Club Fable because uh, it's just weak to the fairy moves, right? And all the moves are resisted. Ooh, Talonflame coming in. You were so lucky Sand Slash is not on this. But you're going to pick up uh, the first shield from the opponent. Trying to get to another one. Oh my gosh. Could, I, th I, think you're I think you were trying to switch out. Maybe could have thrown the attack before you fainted. It looked like you may have been able to, uh, but either way, that's fine. A Talonflame will go for a fly. There's so much damage. Going to be able to maximize the timing. Perfect timing. Able to get off this Dragon Claw right now. The Talonflame does have to shield that, but they do fall down, unfortunately. This is going to be a loss because they definitely make it to a move, and we know Flame Charge is just going to melt this Sand Slash. There's no way you live this Flame Charge. No universe you live that. Good game. Uh, let's move on to the next one. Skeledurge in the lead. Okay. So you can't have Sand Slash on that. They do switch out into Guzzlord. Uh, you come in with your Sand Slash, which I do like. Now, obviously, it's unfortunate you have Shadow Claw, but still pretty good. I, I do like that you, you chipped it a lot with Dragonite to ensure that you probably KO with an Ice Punch. Because one Ice Punch wouldn't KO from full health, not even close. This might not actually KO. This would be close. Oh, uh, it still doesn't even come close to KOing. Um, mm, okay, I mean, you have, uh, well, 
Yeah, I guess you don't. Actually, yeah, I guess you don't need Switch. Because if you think about it, Ferelegator does well against Double Dirge as well. So I, I think that was worth it there. Uh, now Dragonite comes in. But unfortunately, they have a Fairy type in Tapu Koko. But to be fair, Ferelegator wouldn't want to see this. Now, I'm going to be completely honest with you. I've actually run teams in the Ultra League as well as a Master League that got core broken by Tapu Koko. So, I'm. Yeah, I mean, Koko. I feel like enough trainers are not respecting it, right? I mean, that Nature's Madness is such a good move. Uh, and then, as you can see, Dragonite really doesn't want to see it. Feraligator doesn't want to see it. Although, you have play, I guess, with the Feraligator. But, generally speaking, both these Pokemon do not like the Coco. Um, but, look how much damage the Feraligator is doing. A able to... Okay. Well, I mean, the Feraligator was going to throw the Hydro Cannon into the Skeletors anyway. Not able to KO. Out comes Dragonite. Uh, going for the thumb down, able to get it, and uh, yeah, I mean, superpowers. Th the thing about Tapu Koko is it's really frail, so it cannot take a hit. So that's going to be enough to KO the Tapu Koko, and that's going to be a great game, very well played. Uh, so able to beat that Tapu Koko. Um, if it was in the lead, if the Koko was in the lead, though, it would be a lot worse for you. But good game, well played. Uh, Dragonite into Greedon. Okay, so you do heavily resist the Mudshots, which is nice, right? Um, uh, but body slams, two body slams won't be enough to KO and they can't thumb you down. Now the question is, do you bait or do you go straight super power? I have, I have, in the, I've been in this situation before where I went uh, with the bait and my opponent calls it. So it could go either way. They could shield this. Let's see what the opponent decides to do. They do shield it. So that was a beautiful bait there. But again, it could go either way. Now you do live this. Um, and then again, you, can't, you don't have to be worried about being thumbed down unless if they snipe you like that. But at least you do have the Sand Slash that can come in and the Ice Punch will be able to knock out the, the Dragonite. Um, if they shield you, probably shield and go for another one. They do shield it because they want to threaten the Super Power because Super Power will be enough to KO. Um, do you shield this? Uh, if you don't, the Super Power will KO. But they actually bait. Oh my gosh. This is another Dragon Claw, I think. I don't think this is a Super Power. So, yeah, able to take that, okay, the opponent with the double bait there. I did not expect to see a bait. I thought they would go straight for it. And that was a really, really, I mean, that was a great call by you. Um, but now, I mean, I guess you wanted to save the shield for the Feraligator. Because Feraligator with the shield advantage generally does well. I mean, it really depends. But, okay, uh, you do have Ice Beam, which is really good for you. Uh, Crunch would be good as well, but Ice Beam is really good. But they try to catch the Ice Beam, and they're not able to, which is really good. <laughs> right? um, so Hydro Cannon not able to KO, but I think you go for the Shadow Claw down. Unfortunately, they do make it to an attack. You let this one go. No, you shield it. I guess just in case they had Trailblaze. Um, you have to let this one go, but it's not going to be enough to KO you. But will an Ice Beam be enough to KO? I want to say yes. A Crunch would not be, but I think an Ice Beam from a Shadow for Alligator, even though, I mean, this is Ultra League, of course, but I still think it's enough. No, actually, it's not crazy enough, but you do make it to the Hydro Cannon, and this is going to KO. And that is going to be a great game, very well played to both trainers. Cool. Uh, let's go ahead and move into the next one, Dragonite into... Okay, Tentacle, kind of like a neutral matchup. Uh, I guess they, I mean, you just stay put here. Um, yeah, the Dragonite is going to go ahead and go for an attack right now. This is going to uh, get this shield, okay? So we have, okay, gonna go ahead and switch out. All, all your charge moves are resisted. Oh, they bring in Guzzlord. Maybe they think you have Crunch because you switched into the Tentacruel. So I bet you they don't shield. It's not gonna KO. Yeah, they don't shield. Still doesn't KO. So even if they expected Ice Beam, they were not. Uh, they didn't have to shield that, I guess. But now they are in Hydro Cannon range, I believe. Um, and if it's not Hydro Cannon range, it's gonna be very close. Uh, so let's see what the opponent decides to do. Uh, they let it go and it was Hydro Cannon range. Can you make it? Yes, you can make it. You love to see it. Very nice indeed. Um, okay, very nice. This is a double Shadow Claw user team as well. So obviously the backline not really appreciating normal types for the most part. Like the green. Um, of course the charge moves still do neutral damage and do a lot at that like the Hydro Cannon. But still... Uh, Greedon is going to go ahead and go for a body stand. We do see a shield from the Dragonite. Uh, and now out comes the Tentacruel. Do you shield again? Because Acid Spray will not KO. Squall will. And it is a Squall. So good shield. Going to over farm and then switch. I like that play. Now here's the thing. Squall's not going to KO. You probably can take two Squalls. Yeah, you can take another Squall. We do see an attack debuff, but that's fine. Going to go ahead and throw this attack right now. This is going to be enough to knock out. 
uh, unless the opponent shields it uh, and it does knock out. I'm gonna go ahead and go for the ice punch right now into the green. The, the, the green might actually take this as well. They do take it, but uh, the opponent's playing smart. They're charging up the two attacks. They need to throw the crunch and then the, the body set into the dragonite. Still not enough to KO, which means they, the opponent has to shield this. And then if dragonite, dragonite left with an attack, I, I think, right? Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Easy. So left with an attack. If it didn't have an attack, that would have been different. But they still had an attack with the dragonite. Um, yeah, well played. Um, let's go ahead and move into the next battle. Dragonite into Galarian Stunfist. Not a Pokemon you see too often nowadays. Um, just because the Rock Side and Earthquake were bo both nerfed at one point. Um, okay, gonna let this go. Yeah, gonna let this go. Another one will KO. Do you go straight Superpower? You might Superpower and dip. Gonna go ahead and go for the Superpower. I think before the CMP, just so you can get out of there. But let's see if the opponent shields it. They do not shield it, so they're call, either calling it or okay with that damage. Um, so we do see a shield here. Probably a Rock Side. It is a Rock Side. That's fine. Still worth the shield, I guess. Um, unfortunately, the opponent does make it to a move. I don't know where they're at in terms of energy. So I don't know if they're at the Earthquake. They are not. So that's fine. Uh, so now you just go for... Uh, what is that? Uh, what can I mean? A Pelipper? Yeah, Pelipper in the Ultra League. Very cool to see. I've used Pelipper in the Ultra League a couple times. It's a lot of fun. Uh, I don't think it's necessarily great, but it's a lot of fun to use. Um, okay, we're going to see an attack come in right now. Uh, you live this, but going to go ahead and shield it anyway. Can you get the farm down? No, going to go ahead and switch and catch on the Weather Ball. I do like this because the Feraligator does resist the Weather Ball atta attacks, right? Dragonite coming in, okay. Yeah, no point in even going for the Ice Beam. I, I mean, at this point, like, that's the thing. Like, this is resisted. They know this is Hydro, or they expect this Hydro, but they still have to shield it anyway. And you do barely make it out and make it to this attack, which is really nice for you. Dragonite is going to go ahead and shield that. But the Dragonite with the energy is scary. Um, but they're going to go ahead and unleash it, expecting... Okay, expecting the Sand Slash to come in immediately. I think that was a mistake by the opponent. I think they had to watch and see which came in. And if the Sand Slash came in, immediately throw the Superpower. I think that's what they had to do. Because Dragonite is going to win CMP over Lola Sand Slash, right? But either way, okay, that's going to be it for this video. Thank you everyone for watching. I really do appreciate it. And thanks again for submitting your content. Always appreciate everyone who submits it. Even though I don't showcase much nowadays, I do appreciate it nonetheless. And I'll see you all in the next video. Have a good day. Bye.